वेलकम बैक टू न्यू एक्सरसाइज सॉलिड वर्क एडवांस सर्फेस दिस इज ए सर्फेस एक्सरसाइज सो लेट्स डू इट ऑल डायमेंशन आर इन मिलीमीटर वॉल थिकनेस वन मिलीमीटर सो दिस इज ए हॉलो शेप एंड इंस्टेंसेस टू वेरी टेन मिलीमीटर सी दिस काइंड ऑफ शेप ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर सो द डिस्टेंस गोइंग टू चेंज टेन मिलीमीटर इन एवरी स्टेप सो वी विल सी लेटर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू शेप्स and uh, we will start with this side view we will create this side guide actually this is a guide path see 104 and this bottom one 184 mm and you will see this bottom 80 mm corner radius 15 mm you will see here then 36 mm this radius and if you subtract from center to here 90 minus 10, 80 millimeter. Fine. Then, okay, we will do this. Then there is center one, R90, 10 millimeter. Okay, and 4 millimeter this depth. So let's do this. Now I am going to choose here, right plane sketch. Now activate line tool. 80 enter. right click now select this line horizontal now let me draw one center line now click this center line center point to this right click select and select this one vertical smart dimension let's define this 4 mm this is what according to drawing now let me activate three point arc and i'm going to start from here let me draw a arc something like this again draw one arc okay something like this exit now first select this point tangent relation select this point tangent relation fine okay center line and draw one line horizontal line and make this point tangent now start define dimensions dimensions from bottom 104 this one going to be 15 and distance from here to here it's 90 minus 10 going to be 80 mm see drawing is fully defined okay now again activate three point arc let me start this way, corner something like this exit let's make click point click tangent tangent okay now here i am going to define select these two points vertical it it means in one line okay let me connect these two points draw one more tangent line center and connect up to here A smart dimension 36 15 let's say this radius 90 okay do one more thing select this one and make construction geometry fine exit now let's make this side shape R15 half of this 40 divided by 2 80 divided by 2 is going to 40 92 then we have to create this shape see upper shape this overall depth you will calculate from here half of 10 means 20 mm and uh, half of this 45 divided by 2 is going to be 22.5 and the length is same so with the help of composite curve we will create this kind of shape let's see 
front plane sketch activate here line tool and start from here go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc but the arrow is going again reverse direction do one more time okay right click select activate three point arc draw something like this again draw something something like this exit let's activate line go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc connect from here to here exit select this point tangent this point also tangent but these two points make sure in one line this is important A smart dimension now distance from here to here 45 divided by 2 distance from here to here 104 tangent this point also seems tangent okay let's select this point and this line Forty, fifteen, ninety-two. Now it seems drawing it's fully defined, but this distance delete distance should be from here to bottom edge 104 okay look the drawing seems fully defined exit right plane sketch now I am going to select this line convert entity exit now we have two curve see composite curve sketch on sketch select first sketch and select second sketch delete choose from here sketch 3 now you will see the preview how the path or sketch is going to create ok look this is important for us now uh, you will see at 15 we will create one uh, r15 this curve at 15 millimeter above and uh, then uh, we will delete this this is a circular shape so we will make a circular shape in particular way let me tell you how okay let's top plane plane first plane let's make 4 millimeter okay now select plane 1 plane 15 millimeter from plane 1 okay now let's hide plane 1 plane 2 sketch now here I am going to select isometric view because uh, we need it now here I am going to do one one important thing let me draw one point select here draw here three points okay right click select now this point we need to pierce with this so select this point hold shift key select this sketch pierce similarly choose this sketch pierce here select point hold shift key select this sketch 
pairs. Now I am going to select here three point perimeter circle. Select one point, two point, and three point. Exit. See. Now select this circle for construction. Now again I am going to choose here three point arc. This is important. I am going to select. Now select this circle and this one concentric. Concentric. Look, this seems this is what we need it here. Exit. Now for uh, revolution, we need to do one more thing. Right click, sketch. Now select this one. Or before going to choose, I am directly use three point arc, and I am going to start from this point to this point. Now make relation. Hold Shift key. Select this one. This one. Concentric. Look. Go to surface. Revolve surface. For revolve. Okay, we have here one. Revolve surface. Now axis of revolution. So I'm going to select this one. And see, the bottom surface, a complete circular surface. We are going to go blind 360. Okay. Hide. Now let's create a plane. First reference. Front plane, fine. Second reference. I am going to choose this point. See, I am going to create a plane on this a sketch. Now select the plane three a sketch. Now activate line tool. Now here we have to create important relation. Go back, create half circle. Exit. Okay. Smart dimension. One hundred four from bottom line. Now, this is also going to be twenty. Fine. And distance from outside. Okay. We will do it later. Now here, search split tool, split entities. Now, place at center. Click cancel. Now these line converted into two. We need this. This is important. Forty-five divided by two. Now here we need to create too many relations. Okay, let's do these relations also. Vertical. Look, this drawing seems fully defined. Okay. Exit. Now let's try to create our. Let me hide this. Here I am going to create three D sketch, and I am going to select this one. Convert entity. Again, I am going to select this point. This one, convert entity, trim entity, and I am going to delete this. Okay, we need only this path. Now delete this line. Only we have to keep this one. Exit. Okay. Now let me hide this uh, curve. We don't need this curve anymore. 
height curve okay okay here also we need to add path see so let's do one thing right plane sketch and select this one and this one suppose to be put here a point or something like okay convert entity a split just press here okay trim this one fine okay this is fully defined sketch we have one path here exit again right plane sketch now i am going to convert these two lines split entities place point at here right click okay exit okay now go to lufted surface now here first we need to choose profile so right click selection manager now we have to select half of this so here choose group let me select this line this line okay again right click selection manager now this time i am going to choose this one okay now you will see the point nodes here and here that's fine go to curve guided curve and choose this one now second guided curve just drop down sketch 7 now look at the preview now here i am going to choose okay let me select here okay let's do this okay okay the shape is seems perfect now again activate lufted surface drop down the menu drop down here now right click show now these two we need it here so right click selection manager now here choose group and this time i am going to select one and two these two lines okay again right click selection manager now this time i am going to select this one this edge selected see okay now you will see node this one and this end okay node at perfect location now let's go to guided curve now here we have the first 3d sketch so i am going to directly choose sketch 3d sketch see now the second guided curve right click selection manager group 1 cancel it now look it seems fully defined sketch just check from front side okay there is a is end condition or start normal to profile normal to profile and here the value let's make is smaller 0.1 this is also going to be 0.1 so it looks okay now edit loft one and here also i am going to add some normal to profile 0.1 tangent value this is actually a tangent value 0.1 okay that's it now if i am going to check zebra now okay this uh, little there is a little deviations but almost perfect uncheck 
fine okay now do one thing just activate mirror right plane and here choose bodies to mirror so i am going to select one two okay that's it now let's fill this surface this is difficult due to planar surface because there is a uh, too many things so let's apply boundary surface now let me select here first one two in uh, direction one in direction two let's say this one and see now condition i am going to keep none we don't need to make any curve or anything simply keep as it is say okay now planar surface now let's select this edge okay now we have a closed geometry see a closed profile exit activate knit surface now select all the things and here create solid body uncheck gap control merge entities okay now let's hide all see this is a solid body now let's create these portions this 25 by 10 1 mm is thickness from inside the corner radius r2 and here at bottom also 80 mm 4 mm depth we need to create this then later we will cut this select this face is sketch now activate center rectangle 10 tap 25 enter now press and hold shift key select both the points horizontal let's define the center distance 10 mm extrude and extrude 10 mm okay now all corner fillets are 2 mm you will see here 2 mm 2 mm and even you will see here also 2 mm so let me apply fillet here type constant type fillet parameters keep symmetric and radius 2 mm an item to fillet let me choose one edge and it will show you this option so first option if i am going to select it will select all the edges now let's click this center one now it is selected whole around and select this corner okay that's it now we almost near to create our shape now select this face is sketch circle activate here circle 80 right click exit and extrude 4 mm only keep end condition blind or direction 1 towards outside see here now here choose shell feature now depth or thickness 1 mm i am going to select 1 and 2 show preview okay now let's apply section view normal okay see fillet is applied and this is a perfect if you apply thickness thicken tool in uh, surface uh, it 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 creates problem so better to do in solid okay let's apply this 20 mm and you will see here 25 mm from here to here this is 5 mm the gap also 5 mm so 5 10 15 20 25 30 30 5 40 40 5 45 so 45 plus 25 70 mm from bottom okay 
20 millimeter first we will cut then we will use this feature 10 millimeter instance to vary front plane is sketch now i am going to activate here center rectangle Twenty radius five and distance from upper side to bottom seventy. Ah, uh, it's not twenty. Two point five. Five is diameter. Extruded cut. reverse direction through all keep end condition through all say okay that's it now activate linear pattern for direction i am going to choose here top plane reverse feature let's select extruded cut you will see the preview distance 10 mm instances 5 spacing and instances come down here you have to choose activate instances to vary okay now you will see here now what i want to change i want to change this dimension so click on this and see one feature added here d1 sketch 1120 Now this is I am going to increase ten millimeter ten enter. Now you will see the preview. See, ten millimeter is going to add on next instant on every side. Okay, look. Let me apply some. blue okay there is one cut out see so 115 4496 right plane is sketch now select the outer edge convert entity three point arc connect here to this smart dimension Ninety six, forty four, hundred and fifteen. Trim entity, power trim, and trim this this side. Okay. Exit. Activate split line. Now here I am going to choose projection. Sketch already selection of select the face so one two, okay. Here we go. You can click face, and you can say a color whatever color you like. Select this face also, okay. So this is how we did a complex exercise in solid works with the help of. advanced surface feature i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching